It is Jaws Boy today, and today we're doing something we have not done for absolutely ages. We have the track out. We have 16 cars here. You guys know what's up. We are doing a new Hot Wheels 16 car tournament. And yes, guys, the McLaren Senna is not in this one. So, just let you guys know. Even though, you know what? If you know what, my mistake. I guess I'll add it. Huh, which car should I replace? Which car out of these do I think I do you guys think I should replace? Crap. Okay. The Subaru WRX. Where is it? Where is it? Found it. Found it. Watch already before. I was trying to do this video already a second ago, but I kinda broke my toenail. Because <laughs> I kinda hit something right there on the wood that must really hurt. And that really did hurt, so that's broken. But it's not going to stop me from doing this. So anyway, let's go and go to the contenders. contenders. We have this 1972 Chevy Love. This, this is going to be the first time this car has ever been down this track. And I am pretty excited to try this car out down the track. The 1970 Chevy Love. All right. Next up, we got, yes, the almighty McLaren Senna going down today. And I'm pretty excited to see exactly how well this car is going to go down the track today. Next up, we have the 1971 Porsche 911 Policia. And this car is also one of my brand new ones. This car has never been on my track yet, so I can't wait to see how well this one does. And next up, yes, we have the almighty Bugatti Veyron. This is the red variant. This one, this one, this one right here is like my most used Bugatti Veyron from Hot Wheels. And it is going down again next up we have another mclaren we have the mclaren p1 in this nice white color and it's guys if i do sound sick i am a little bit sick so well like it's my sound like i don't know for sure but it sounds like i have a cold so if you guys do hear that you guys probably know what's going on but yes i love this white color variant it's actually have green very green green variant and also the black and red variant of this car so i still have a lot of pretty ones to get though Another car we actually have not seen down going down this track in like six or five months, about six or seven months ago. This is the Jaguar F Type Project Seven. Look at this Jaguar F Type. I, I love this one. I can't I can't wait to try to find the black color variant of this one. I never knew even like even existed until my friend came to school one day and he showed me a black variant of it. But now I know what I gotta look for. And next up we have the BMW M4. This one, again, has not been down in forever as well. I got, I've had this one for about, basically, almost exactly two years now. Possibly three years. This car has only been down the track, like, two or three times. But it's still pretty nice. Gotta admit that. Next up, we have the, the Chevy Bel Air Gasser in this nice red with gold rims. This is from the uh, old car meet set, and I think that looks pretty nice. And moving on to the other side here. And on the side, we have the Cadillac V16. No, not V16. The Cadillac ATS VR in black. I love this one because I actually have all three color variants of this. I have the white one and the red one. And I think this car looks very nice for a Cadillac. It actually, it has been down. I've only had that car about eight months now. Probably, uh, probably less. And I still think that car is doing pretty well. Next up, we have... The Audi R8 LMS. This is one of my first ever Hot, Hot, Hot Wheels Audis. I do also have a Matchbox one right here that was given to me by a friend. I do also have this Matchbox one, but it's not Hot Wheels, so I'm not putting it down. But yep, I cannot wait to see exactly how well this Audi R8 does. The thing is, though, this one has rubber wheels. Here, this one here, you can tell. It has rubber wheels. You can compare it to this one. You can tell, obviously tell the difference. So, can't wait to see how good that one does. Next up, we got the Porsche 917 LH. This one I have not had long at all. This one I probably have only had for about two or three months. And I think, like as you guys can see, I've been taking really good care of it. This car has not had, a, has not got a single scratch on it, which is one thing I like. Yeah, this is Porsche 917, like 917 LH, and has been down, I think, two or three times. So, we're going to see exactly how well it does again. Next up, we got the return of the Porsche 918 Spider. I didn't mean to say Porsche, I meant to say Porsche. Well, I guess I can say that for people who live in Canada. 
I don't. I live in I live in the United States, <laughs> but yeah, this is the Porsche 918 Spider and red. I still have to get like two or three more colors of this car, and nothing. And I don't really care. I just like it. Next up, another car I've seen down the track in a while: the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, or just SRT. I love this purple color. One thing I don't like about this car is that this was the first ever Dodge like race car type thing I've ever ridden in. I'll try to link it in the description below for that video, guys. If you guys want to see the video, like near the very end, if you guys want to see it in the comments, like if you guys want to actually see the video, I'll leave a link in the description below. And you guys might well, be, you guys might also be just now be seeing the thumbnail of it and also the title. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Cadillac Emira and this nice blue color. This, there's now like two color variants of this car, and that's the only one I have. I saw, I, like, I know there's more than one because I saw a red version of this at Walmart from some set, but I forgot what it was. But, but yeah, we got this. It has a nice tan interior. It basically kind of looks like my dream car. But stuff. <laughs> Next up, the car you guys probably have not even seen in my collection yet. We have we have the Mazda MX-5 Miata 2015 one. I've had this one for probably about two or like at least at least at least four years. And I think, and look at this, guys, it still looks very nice. I can't wait to see how well this one does. I, have, I think I've only put this car down the track like twice. And then next up, we, and finally, we have the, the 1998, or 1980, no, 1978 Corvette C3. And look at this purple color. I got this one from a three-pack. If you guys remember that video, I'll also leave you a link in the description for that video. If you guys want to check this out. And yes, I guess I can leave a link in the description for when I'll unbox this car. I'll show you guys a picture of that thumbnail. Unbox that car. And so, that, and also, I guess I can take you guys the video where I unboxed the Audi R8 and also the Dodge Charger. So, I guess, like, you know, I might not leave that many links. I'll just leave a link in the description for that car. And I guess I will also leave a link in the description for this car. So... Anyway, let's go and get straight into the race. First car going down the track is the 1972 Chevy Love going against the McLaren Senna. All right. So now, if I can make sure this. Here, yeah, there we go. Let's see who wins in three, two, one. McLaren Senna took that win. It's going to be moving on to the next round. Yep, it's going to be moving on to the next round. Right now, we have the Bugatti Veyron versus the Porsche 1971 Porsche. Now, on the track, and they're ready to head up. Now, let's see who wins in three, two, one. And that, and while I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy to see that, the Bugatti Veyron took the win. That's good. I have not been able to see that Veyron win in a while. Let's see, we've got the McLaren Senna. And the Bugatti Veyron moving up to the right. On the track, we have the Jaguar Type SVR and the McLaren P1. Let's go see who wins in three, two, one. Very close race, but the Jaguar F Type took the win, beating out the P1. The two cars on this side are the are the BMW M4 Coupe and also the Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Right, it's on the track, let's go see who wins in three, two, one. Yeah, so they, it, it could not even get off the track, so I guess the BMW M4 is moving on to the next the side. We got the kind of like ATS VR and the Audi R8. Right, I was going to see who wins in three, two, one. Audi, Audi R8 LMS took took the win, beating the ATS VR. Tenders are two Porsches, are two Porsches, and we have the Porsche 918, the Porsche um, 917 LH, and the Porsche 918 Spy. Next two cars on the track, so I'll see which Porsche is better in three, two, one. Pick out the Porsche, Porsche 918 Spider, and which means we're moving on to the next round. Charger, SRT Hellcat and the Cadillac Let's see who wins in three, two, one. Charger Hellcat took took the win, beating out the e Mira. Right, cars for the next round. We for the first round we have the Mazda MX-5 Miata and the Corvette Corvette C. Two cars are on the track. Now let's go and see who wins in three, two, one. It was the Mazda MX-5 Miata. On the, on the, for the next round, we have the McLaren Senna versus the Bugatti right, Veyron. Who wins in three, two, one? Again, the Bugatti Veyron is doing really well. We got the Bugatti Veyron taking out the McLaren right, Senna. For the next round, we have the Jaguar F-Type Project 7 and the BMW M4. Who wins in three, two, one? BMW M4. Moving on to the next, next round. round, we have the Audi R8 LMS and rubber wheels and the Porsche 917. Right, on the track, we got two. We got two race cars. Let's see which race car is better in three, two, one. 
get out the R rate, which means moving on to the next cars round. This next round, for this first, next second round, we have the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat and the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Cars on the track, so who wins in three, two, one. The Hellcat beat it out the Miata, which means it's moving on to the next Starting round. Starting from round number three, we have the Bugatti Veyron versus the Jaguar F-Type Project. Cars on seven. the track, so now it's going to see who wins in three, two, one. Seven beat out the beat out the Veyron, which means it's going to be moving on to the final. Our yeah. Charger SRT Hellcat and the no Porsche 917 right, LE. Track, so let's go and see who wins in three, two, one. Great, the 917 LE beat out the Charger. Oh wait, never mind. It's the opposite direction. Surprise. Moving on to the final round. Who do you guys think is going to win the tournament? We have the Jaguar F Type Project Seven and the Dodge Charger Hellcat. So now let's go ahead and see which one who wins and the winner. We'll go against the champion, the BMW M3. All right, so now those two cars are on the track. So now let's go and see who wins in three, two, one. And the, um, S and the Hellcat beat out the DF Type S Project 7. It's going to be going against the M3. Cars on the track. We have the BMW M3, you guys know, my champ, my, my actual current champion versus the Dodge Charger Hellcat, the winner of the tournament. So now, let's go ahead and let's see who wins in three, two, one. It looks like the M3 took the win for this round. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. If you guys did enjoy this, um, and if you guys did enjoy the 16 car tournament, then please do, con then please do consider subscribing. Anyway, guys, peace out.